Hello everyone, so uh, the last couple of years I seem to have been stuck doing bungalows and actually, bizarrely, it's been two years since I did my last set of stairs, so I'm looking forward to doing that. I just thought I'd quickly show you, I've done all this bulkhead here, but I just think, thought I'd quickly show you uh, what I've done, talk through some of the reasons I've done it and some of the ideas I've had. Um, we'll start off by having a look at the stair opening and I'll talk you through the stair design and some of the things that I've done in the first fixed phase, which should hopefully make it a lot easier for me when it comes to the second fixed phase. Right, so I'll start off by showing you the stair design. I'm sorry I haven't got a drawing. This has just been sent for my approval on my phone. So hopefully you can see that basically we've got a, a main sort of run, run of stairs, then a set of kites in a kite box, and then we've got a ball nose on the bottom. Uh, so the, the measurements that we're interested in are basically the overall stair um, trimmer, which is here, um, to the trim on the other side of the stair opening, which is over there. That measurement here, we've managed to get the designers to squeeze it down. As you can see, that measurement there is 2850, so that's 2 meters, 850 millimeters. Obviously, the width is 900 mil, is the, um, the width of the treads and the uh, opening, the stair trimmer width across, uh, across its width. So from here to here, I think is about 1070 from memory. So we know that we're going to get these two top mules in here and then a slight return, and then it's half mules back to these walls that are fitted either side here. So, as I said, important, what's it doing here? It's doing something. So the important measurement we need to think about is this 2850, when we're thinking about creating this bulkhead. And the reason we create this bulkhead is so that we can utilize the space in this small bedroom here, which is quite small. Otherwise, um, these walls would go straight up to the ceiling and you'll have this massive, great stairwell. So um, what I've done is Cut a bulkhead, as I said, and importantly, there's some information on this drawing that we need to have a look at. Um, and the important information here for me when setting out is this pitch measurement here, this pitch degree, which is 41.24 degrees. So the pitch of the stairs, I'm basically going to say, is 42 degrees. And we can't encroach. If you can see here, they've done a little drawing. It, it gives us where the headroom is. So we know at 2850 wide, which is from the face of the trimmer here, to the face of the opening or the bulkhead, we know that if we, at that measurement, we've got two meters and 29, head, oh my finger shaking. We've got two meters and 29 millimeters headroom. We can't go any lower than that. Um, we need to clear two meters. So the offshoot of it is, I'm gonna move down here. Hopefully gonna show you it. We've got our stair opening, 2850 from this trimmer here, back to this trimmer here. And then as long as I don't come any further, this way with my ceiling, it won't impede in the headroom of the stairs. So th this point here is my 2850, and from there, these bits of timber here go up at 42 degrees. So basically, as, if you imagine, as we come in the stairs here, and we start going up the stairs, um, as we go up the stairs and turn, as we go up, this ceiling goes up with it. So, other things I've done, this wall is going to be a dot and dab, so it's gonna be dry lined with plasterboard stuck on it. The guys are gonna come and do that first because that gives me a nice, something nice to put my stairs, fix my stairs straight against, rather than packing the stairs off the wall and then putting plasterboard down behind it. The dot and dabbers are absolutely fantastic guys and they really do truly understand the concept of a stairwell being a shaft that although uh, the stairs may start down here, uh, they finish up there. So the whole of this stairwell has to be plumb, upright and square. So what I've done, you can see here, I've brought this stud wall over just about half inch or so from the block work. And that basically means that the tackers can then, um, they can dot and dab their plasterboard straight onto here with a sort of half inch dab behind it. And I go straight up onto that wall. And then also what I've done, if you just have a look here, can we see that? Is I've put these little noggins in as well and they can fix the plasterboard, run it through that and then that will come up past here and that will give me a nice straight plasterboard line all the way down there. And I'll do a video on this when I come to fit the stairs. We, we don't use aprons here. Basically what I do is the plasterboard will come straight up here and then I'll make a nice neat cut here and, a, and the floor capping will fit over it and then the, stair, the stairs will fit from there. So let's have a little look at the space that I've managed to create with this bulkhead, which is the main reason we do it. So basically uh, on this front here, there's a bedroom, obviously you can see I fitted a door. I've run this wall all the way across. So when you sort of have a look at this landing space, which is quite nice and sort of big, uh, that wall, uh, there's two doors in that wall either side of the stairs. Um, the handrails will return with a half mule there and half mule here, then there's a door going in here. Now, 
The issue is, and the plan was here, but I can't find it now, this bedroom is quite small. Uh, it's only probably 2.5 metres across there. So the issue that we had, we, what we were trying to do, is we've already made the stairwell smaller than it should be, and what I've managed to do is reclaim a bit of the floor to make this as big as possible. So what putting the bulkhead in allows us to do is, is rob a little cupboard here. Now normally, this cupboard would, would be much bigger, but what we've done, or well, the idea I had basically was to make a low level bulkhead here which will probably put a, an MDF top on like a giant window board um, and that, what that basically leaves uh, I've designed it so that from this point of this wall here across to this wall here is 2.2 metres now what I've suggested to the builder is and basically this house is going to be uh, looks lovely out there, roof's coming on this house is going to go out on the open market and it may be that we could suggest to any potential buyer and the idea that I had is that basically we would build a bed deck in here. So, um, you know, if it was my house, I would have done it already. So this is fairly low. It's only about 450 mil off the, off the floor, which is, you know, some divans are that high. So what I would suggest doing uh, would be to build, uh, carry that deck on through there, have storage drawers underneath it, and then basically you'd have a nice, decent sized single bed in there. That's 1.1 meters from there to there and 2.2 meters from there to there. And what that would then do, although it's still a small room, you'd have a full size bed, then you'd have a space for maybe a wardrobe and a dressing table. But anyway, I think I've spoken enough about that. Bulkheads uh, are a fantastic idea because they do um, maximize the space, uh, utilizing the space in the room instead of just wasted space in a giant stairwell that basically ends up with a light bulb a light right up here that you can never change if it goes. So, sorry, that's a bit waffly, I know, but I got quite excited because I, I like to think of myself as a bit of a stair specialist. I've fitted many, many top end stairs for, for different companies over the years. So I always like putting stairs in. These are gonna be, um, I think they're softwood treads and risers and oak strings handrails. So I'm quite looking forward to doing that. And I'll be bringing you a video uh, when the time comes when I start to fit them. Thanks for watching.